Welcome to the first episode of Sponge, Absorbing Sand. So today is Father's Day and we are out going for a sail in the Long Island Sound. And we're gonna just explain a few of the principles of sailing with my dad, Captain Doobie. So we're trying to find out a way to describe in very simple terms, dynamics. physics, yeah, I guess the dynamics of sailing. So to put it simply, you're using a combination of forces above the water which include your sails using the wind to create vacuums that push the boat or pull the boat and then beneath the boat you have a rudder and a keel that utilize pressure as well to push the boat and so that the combination of the two creates momentum forward. Essentially you're harnessing the power of the wind as well as the energy of the water to propel your boat through the water. And that is how your boat sails. So an easy example to picture would be if you were to squeeze a seed, like a watermelon seed or a sunflower seed in your, between your fingers. You have one force, which is the wind on your sails. And then you have the other force, which is the water on your keel, which is basically like another wing underneath your boat and together they pinch your boat and they squeeze your boat from side to side or on both sides and it shoots forward. And essentially, if you were to imagine a big hand coming down and squeezing your boat all around the ocean. That is sailing in its most simple form. What's actually happening is you're using the sail as a, as a vertical wing. So on an airplane, you have a wing that's flat, but it's not perfectly flat. It has a slight curve in the back of the wing, and that's important because to create the force that flies a plane, which is lift, that the physical force is called lift, you need to create a pressure difference between the top of the wing and the bottom of the wing. And what happens is when there's more pressure on the bottom of the wing and less on top, imagine an arm like this, it lifts the wing and hence lifts the plane. So how do you create that pressure difference? By using the velocity of the air. So the acceleration of an air as it goes around a curve, it creates even more momentum, more acceleration, it goes faster and that changes the pressure. And that pressure change is essentially what gives you, what creates the lift. And now that lift, that same force can be applied to a sail. So if you take that same airplane wing Instead of horizontal, we put it vertically, and now that vertical wing, like an airplane, is creating a lift that instead of taking us off the ground, it's pulling us forward in our boat. It's a counterbalance between the force above the water on your sails and the force below the water on your keel, and so you don't just tip over because theoretically, if the wind were to hit you perpendicularly and hit your mast, or hit your main sail, you would just tip over if it weren't for the keel underneath that is balancing it with the force of the water. The only direction you can't sail on a sailboat is directly into the wind, and depending on the boat, as much as 45 degrees to either side of directly into the wind. You can sail on all the other points of sail other than that, and you can usually adjust the sails out or in, tighter, taller, shorter, that type of thing, to give you the best sail for the wind conditions, tide, and all of the other factors that are involved in sailing. Now how do you know what adjustments to make right now? Um, just based on the direction that the wind is coming from, uh, if you look up the arrow, it's coming in the opposite direction now. The more to the side of the boat that the wind is coming from, the more you let the sails out. 
the more towards the front this, the wind is hitting you, you want to pull the sails in tighter. This is the winch. So what do you use the winch for? The winch provides mechanical leverage. You could not pull that sail in when it's full of wind. Um, so the only way to do that is to provide a mechanical advantage. The motor sees uh, smooth and then it turns rough and ripply. He knows that that's where the wind is. There's a gust of wind over there. And so what do you do if you're in a predicament like we are where there's no wind? You slow down. <laughs> I love sailing um, because it's an active hobby. You have to be continually thinking. You're thinking about the direction of the water that's flowing underneath you if you're in the ocean or in a river. You're thinking about the direction of the air. You're thinking about the direction that you're heading in. And there's, see, so it's a great hobby and sport, if you will, because you're physically having to move and pull the lines and raise the sails and steer the wheel and or pull the tiller whichever you've got and you always have to be thinking it's it's uh, and I think that's one of the things I enjoy the most about it I created sponge with the intention of becoming more active and more of a participant in life rather than a passive observer and so I think for my first experience with this new vlog and channel it has been pretty interactive and engaging and I'm actually really proud of myself for making the commitment and for taking the initiative of putting myself out there and challenging myself to learn. My dad has been sailing now for a few years and I've always participated to the extent that I would go on the boat and enjoy the sun and kind of relax and soak it all in but without the typical level of curiosity that I would normally approach life with so I think by finally embracing the challenge of understanding why he was so passionate about it it created a passion within myself and inspired me to learn more to experience more and now I find myself also looking forward to days on the water and exploring the internet for more information and for stories and I, f I feel myself becoming a part of the the sailing world even though I myself am merely a passenger so I think for my first experience with sponge I'm very satisfied I don't know exactly how this is all gonna work but I hope that with this video you guys understand the gist of what I'm trying to do here encourage inspire inform and just engage and connect with people with their passions and just live a more full and eventful life and so thank you for watching this has been Sponge Absorbing Sailing. We'll see you soon.